And as we saw, police responded quickly to the shooting on the scene. About 60 seconds they were there and they were prepared for this. Take a look at the cover of the Capitol Gazette from Saturday. The headline, preparing for the worst. Police had just run an active shooter drill less than a week ago. Let's go to ABC's chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas in Washington, with more on the gunman and how they took him down. Good morning, Pierre. Cecilia, good morning. Police say the suspect was specifically targeting the newspaper and came with a deadly plan and carried it out in cold blood. In the midst of the mayhem, an initial description of the alleged shooter as police raced to the scene. All units limit your transmissions. Do we have any kind of intel on our shooter? I my own with a ponytail. Witnesses say the suspect, armed with a shotgun, had blasted through a glass door entering the newsroom of the Capitol Gazette. Two injured and those five murdered. Authorities said he had created a distraction, apparently to make it difficult for victims and police, creating more chaos. It was actually canisters um, of smoke grenades that he used inside of the building when he entered. The county's top official said the suspect had put down his weapon and was hiding under a desk when discovered by police. Sources telling ABC News there was initially difficulty identifying the suspect because he had no ID or wallet on him. Court records obtained overnight naming the alleged shooter as 38-year-old Gerard Ramos, charged with five counts of first-degree murder. He had a history of conflict with the paper. This was a targeted attack on the Capitol Gazette. Court records reveal he had filed a lawsuit against the paper after it published an article reporting he had stalked a woman. Records show Ramos lost his defamation suit. A former editor at the newspaper telling ABC News that Ramos threatened him four years ago. There were times where he said, we wished, uh, he wished I had stopped breathing. But, I mean, to me, there can't be anything more direct than, I wish I would be better off dead. Last night, police descended on Ramos' home in nearby Laurel, Maryland, located 30 miles from the shooting, hunting for clues, but also searching for a social media footprint. Sources say Ramos initially did not cooperate with investigators. He's due in court today at 10.30 this morning for a bail hearing. Cecilia? And you'll be following that for us, Pierre. Thank you. Uh, we did hear that from that former publisher and editor in your piece. He also told us that he was not surprised when he learned that Ramos was the shooter. Cecilia, in a sad prophecy, the former editor of the paper tells us this morning he once told someone, quote, this is a guy who is going to come in and shoot us. Just horrible. So with that, what are police saying this morning, Pierre? Were there missed warning signs, missed opportunities here? Well, the editor told us police followed up on those threats, and he was interviewed by police at his home, but they never had enough to charge him, Cecilia, and that was four years ago. Okay, you'll be staying on this one for us, Pierre. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.